Hello everyone, this is Chitambar Nathan from SBS Consultancy. Today's topic is going to be a COVID diagnostic lab setup. And uh, it's a trending topic now. Um, so we'll see uh, how to set up a lab and uh, what is the cost involved in this throughout the presentation. What are the key takeaway in this training program? One is uh, the legal requirements. What is uh, the legal requirements um, for uh, starting a new uh, COVID lab or a, mo or a molecular biology lab? Second one is personal who are all needed for uh, uh, running the lab uh, right from the lab director or manager till uh, the housekeeping staff. We'll see one by one. And uh, next one is uh, the equipment uh, required for uh, molecular biology lab. It's a COVID lab. And uh, the next one is um, consumables and reagents we can be used. And uh, what are the things is required? And, uh, the last one is the new lab setup and their cost. So we'll see one by one. The legal requirements. So, so initially, if you are uh, uh, already in the lab, uh, so if you are already having a lab and you have, uh, you don't have accreditation, so we can, um, so you know about the legal requirements. So for a startup lab, so for a new person to start the lab, um, so these are the legal requirements mandatory. The first one is uh, company registration with the Clinical Establishment Act. So that the lab need to be registered with the Clinical Establishment Act uh, on what wherever you are and where, which state you are. So you need to register as a in the Clinical Establishment Act. Second one is the registration with the Pollution Control Board. And third one is uh, registration with the local biomedical waste agency. So these are three mandatory uh, requirements uh, for starting the lab as well as the getting the accreditation as well. And if you have uh, some any other facilities uh, like uh, like uh, lift, uh, you are using any lift or any other uh, uh, parameters, so the license might be required. Um, so it depends on the uh, what you're going to serve for the uh, for the general pub public. The next one is personal. So this is a manpower. So what, who are the manpower required uh, for running the lab? Initially, um, so the main uh, thing is like a MD microbiologist is going to be authorized signatory so we need authorized signatory for a molecular biology lab and uh, assigning the molecular biology analysis test and uh, authorizing the test um, so NABL recommend MD microbiologist for COVID and also other molecular biology testing so the MD microbiologist is required Next one is uh, BSc or MSc microbiologist um, for uh, running the RT-PCR or PCR um, or so you can also use a MLT or DMLT technician with the molecular biology experience of at least a one year experience in the molecular biology lab. Next one is um, quality manager. So the quality manager uh, is mandatory as well. So all these positions are mandatory and um, the quality manager should be a full-time person and also should have uh, attended, and attended the training program of NABL four-day training program uh, internal auditor training. Quality manager can be right from the pathologist or MD microbiologist or uh, um, uh, like a BSc microbiologist or anybody who is having a proper qualification in the and experience in the lab. 
Next one is phlebotomist for drawing the samples. And um, next one is the reception staffs and housekeeping staffs. These are the personal required. It's a minimal requirement uh, which has been made. Uh, it depends on the volume of the uh, samples uh, you are getting on everyday basis. It might uh, require more people. Um, yeah. Next one is equipments. The equipments. What are the equipments uh, uh, required for uh, establishing a molecular biology lab or a COVID lab? First one is RT-PCR, a closed unit. Uh, I have mentioned the closed unit because uh, if you are going, if you are starting a new lab, and you can go for a closed unit, so you will get uh, like a, so you can construct your lab in a minimal space, which will we will see in the later slide. And also, it is a cost effective as well. And second one is a biosafety cabinet level 2 with the virus burner. A deep freezer for RNA storage. A refrigerator at 2 to 8 degree for kit insert kit storage and also sample storages. And next one is a centrifuge for a blood samples required to get processed for uh, uh, RT-PCR. A spinner, a pipettes, an autoclave for decontamination of uh, COVID um, samples and uh, uh, the consumables used for uh, um, testing the COVID samples. All these equipments need to be uh, uh, calibrated and all these equipments need to be calibrated at least a year uh, yearly once and uh, all the equipments need to be um, maintained uh, preventive maintenance as well so that uh, we will see in the next slide yeah, in detail. The next one is consumables and reagents used. So. So this is going to be a recurring cost. Um, the equipment is a, a fixed cost, and uh, consumables is going to be a recurring cost, and uh, personal is going to be a recurring cost as well. So in consumables, what are the things we will see? The first one is extraction kit. So the extraction kit, like so, what are the extraction? Kit. Uh, it depends on the company you purchase the equipment, they will supply the extraction kit as well. RTPCR kit, COVID specimen uh, collection containers, COVID PPEs like uh, gloves, mask, um, N95 respirators, face shield, uh, goggles, sorry, goggles body suit and uh, shoe covers, disinfectants, housekeeping and consumables, biomedical waste bags, tissue rolls, paper tips and etc. These are all uh, uh, the consumable which will be uh, mandatory on a daily basis and also other, other consumables as well. So I didn't cover all this. These are the main consumables which will be spent on a, a daily basis in a COVID lab. The next one is uh, uh, the new uh, affordable uh, and COVID lab setup. So before we go into the slide, so I need to tell, uh, so we have done um, uh, various uh, lab setup in the COVID time and uh, so a lot of people have uh, um, uh, uh, constructed uh, a new lab uh, setup uh, with our consultancy and uh, we have also got a lot of various accreditation uh, for COVID for a lot, uh, various labs and uh, so because of COVID it's all online uh, assessment so the process process from the NABL is is uh, very fast as well as we can also um, 
use this project um, or like make the project uh, uh, done completed within uh, two months time so so when you come for affordability of the covid lab so the first first one is like a space the space which is required for the molecular biology lab is a bit uh, uh, bigger in space um, in a conventional method so if it is a closed unit as i mentioned in the earlier previous slide um, so if you are having a rt pcr with the closed closed uh, unit like a true nat um, so you need a minimum requirement of 300 to 500 square feet to construct a, uh, the fully uh, equipped lab. So if it is a, a not a closed unit, it's an open unit, um, the space requirement is going to be more, maybe like a 200 to 300 square feet more because you need a, a extra uh, equipment for a master, master mix and also for a, template addition next one is construction cost so if you're going for the minimal requirement and uh, if you're going with the uh, closed unit the construction cost is going to be like um, from 1.5 to 2.5 lakhs and we have done various projects uh, including the construction of the lab as well uh, that's why the approximate cost uh, uh, we have come up, come up with uh, 1.5 lakh to 2.5 lakh and depends on the city. This has been es estimated in uh, Chennai city and if uh, it depends on the city wherever you are living in India, uh, it might vary. Equipment cost, um, again, it's going to be like uh, 6 to 7 lakhs. Uh, whatever the equipment which is uh, mentioned um, we have uh, come uh, with uh, approximate uh, 6 to 7 lakhs including all RT-PCR, bi-safety cabinet and uh, everything and again if it is an open unit the, uh, the equipment uh, will be more and also the cost will also increase. Next one is equipment maintenance. So, yeah, again, uh, so because the um, uh, if you are going for an ABL accreditation, so you need to um, equipment maintenance is very mandatory, and you need to show all this data. So one is like a preventive maintenance and also the calibration. Um, so it depends on the equipment, what is you are using, and it depends on the city. The approximate uh, equipment maintenance cost is going to be 10k to 30k. Career. Next one is consumables and the reagents cost. Uh, the reagents and consumable cost will uh, will be like uh, it's an approximate cost of, for um, a small lab setup, and um, it is going to be like um, uh, the, the lab is dealing with uh, 50 to 100 samples per day. Uh, the consumables cost is going to be around 30k. And uh, if the if bigger the bigger the size of the volume, bigger the volume um, you are uh, doing. If it is more than 100, or uh, um, if it is going to be 500, or uh, so whatever number it is, the consumable cost is going to be increased as well. The, the next one is a personal cost. So personal cost is going to be like the minimal uh, requirement I have put. Um, and the cost is uh, 1.5 lakh to 2.5 lakhs and is a recurring cost and uh, it depends on the city again and um, it depends on the volume of the uh, samples you are uh, using so if you are uh, dealing with uh, 50 to 100 samples per day so the minimal requirement is fine and if it is more uh, you might require uh, uh, more equipment and also more personnel as well Next one is a NAB accreditation cost. For a, so I have a put for a small lab, as I mentioned, uh, uh, for a small lab uh, running 
sample of uh, 50 to 100 pa uh, patient sample per day. The NABL application cost is going to be um, 80k. It is a uh, initial cost, and uh, the maintenance cost is a uh, annual fee. Annual fee for a small lab is uh, um, 70k per year. These are the main uh, cost-wise uh, summary for a COVID lab. And uh, so we will see uh, what is the what is the investment you are going to make, and uh, what is the, your return you will get on the first month. The the total investment uh, if it, if you are restricting yourself uh, for all these thing conditions, uh, the, and um, and uh, it is going to be like a 7.5 lakh to 8.3 lakhs. So almost like 8.5 lakhs uh, is the initial um, investment you are going to make for construction of the lab, which is included uh, construction, equipment, maintenance, and personnel, and uh, enable accreditation cost as well. The next one is uh, recurring cost. So the recurring cost is going to be every month, uh, a recurring cost is going to be like 2.5 lakhs. Per month which includes uh, consumables used uh, for testing and also uh, personal used for uh, uh, like uh, MD microbiologist and other technicians and uh, quality manager and uh, everybody else uh, it is a approximate cost and it's both um, it depends on the city where you are and it might vary the next one is a uh, might minimum uh, gross yearning so 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 once a, a covid lab has been set up and uh, so you'll be expecting uh, so if you're running a sample of uh, 50 to 100 and uh, so you will be having approximate yearning of uh, 5 lakhs per month and if you're running a sample of uh, 50 so because uh, um, um, so that is approximate cost uh, it depends on city again and uh, and also the depends on the um, price has been fixed by the government in Tamil Nadu uh, the price was fixed uh, for a RT-PCR test is uh, 3000 and uh, and uh, private labs also um, um, some are following the same and some are following uh, different prices as well like 3500 and 4000 4500 it it is varying so it depends on the city it might vary and uh, this cost is going to be like a, it's a minimum uh, gross income um, of 5 lakhs you'll be earning so these are overall um, um, lab setup cost and uh, so what are the things required for uh, starting a new lab hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, please subscribe to this um, channel and uh, so you will be getting a, um, um, a frequent mails and uh, notification please subscribe to this uh, channel and also if you required any other accreditation program like uh, uh, other labs like um, for NAVL accreditation for other labs biochemistry, hematology and histo, cyto and uh, molecular biology lab so we can uh, um, help with that and also other accreditation like NABH and uh, JCI and QAI accreditation for home health care is also done and uh, we can help with that thank you for watching till the end and uh, please subscribe and uh, click the bell icon thank you